Hi, Bhavan. How are you doing? Hi, hi, actually. Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I'm fine. Please yeah, introduce that's... yourself and tell me about what is your recipe experience? Uh, yeah, actually, thank you for this opportunity. And I have completed my B.Tech uh, in computer science field. And I have three years of experience in SAP web development. And I'm uh, actually I'm working on various projects like involving in reports, interfaces, extensions, forms, and workforce, workflows. Yeah, these are my SAP web experience. And I've gone to many Yeah, companies. that's impressive. Can you explain what is SAP ABAP and what are the advantages? Yeah, yeah, I can explain it. Uh, actually, SAP ABAP is a high level programming language, you know, that is used to develop applications for the SAP R by the system, right? Okay. And uh, it is integrated with the SAP data directory. Actually, it actually defines the logical structure of the data and yeah. it improves the data consistency. Yes. And, and, and we, know, we know that SAP ABAP also supports object-oriented programming. Actually, SAP ABAP, it, it's an object-oriented language, programming language, like like Java, Py, uh, Python, yes. C++. Yeah. Actually, this object-oriented programming language allows SAP ABAP uh, for better modularity, reusability, and maintain, uh, maintainability of that code. Yes. Uh, the main advantages of SAP ABAP are, uh, it is optimized for SAP systems. And it can access by SAP database directly. It can access SAP database directly, and it has a rich set of built-in functions in, in there, and it has a tools for developing various types of applications too. And yeah. uh, it can interact with the SAP components and the external systems using various protocols and the formats such as IDOCs, and it can be enhanced and customized. Yes. Uh, using user exist enhancements, etc. Yeah. Very good. Can you tell me what are the different types of data classes in SAP ABAP and what are their characteristics? Uh, sure, sure. Um, like uh, the data classes are used to cate categorize the data objects in ABAP data di directory. And the four types of the data classes are uh, yeah. master data, transaction data, yes. organization data, system data. And, yes, correct. Uh, what exactly master data is? Uh, this class contains the data that uh, seldom changes, such as customer data, vendor data, and material data. Yes, exactly. And, yeah, and transaction data class contains the data that changes frequently, such as sales order, invoices, and deliveries. Yes. And the organization data, this class contains the data that is customizable during the system configuration. So, such as company code, plan, sales organizations. Yes, exactly. And the system data, this class contains the data that is used by SAP system itself, and such as user data, program data, and screen data, and like so on, there also. Yes, yes. Excellent. Can you give me an example on how to create transparent table and SAP ABAP, and what are the steps involved? Uh, yeah, I, I can give an example. Uh, like uh, a transparent table is a type of table that has the one one to one relation with the table in the database we know that and it's a structure uh, yes. correspond to the single database field yes to create a tran transparent table uh, these are steps that we need to follow to create a transparent table they are first we need to create a table in abap directory using a trans transaction code ac11 yes and we need we need to enter the table name description and delivery class oh okay and next uh, we need to choose the transparent table option and we need to assign a data class and a size directory to it yes and then we need to define the fields of the table like uh, like fields of table or the data type like int float like that and we need to uh, give their lens and the description of the what the fields are yes yes and now it's very important to specify the primary key because the primary key itself uh, it's very important to table because uh, it, it tells that, right? And it should be, we also maintain any foreign key, the relations with other tables, because to connect the two tables, it's very important, the foreign key relationship, right? So, yes. and, and then we need to activate the table and uh, we need to generate technical settings. Yeah, that's correct. How do you perform batch data communication in SAP ABAP? 
and what are the advantages and disadvantages of this method uh, actually uh, batch data communication is a method of transferring large uh, or we can say that external data into the sap system using batch input programs yes yes and the and the batch input programs uh, read the data from a queue file and they group them into the sessions and this you know yeah. and, mm-hmm. and and the sessions are the then executed in the background anyway so, uh, or the foreground yeah. to update the sap database yeah and the, and the advantages of this uh, batch data communication are uh, it is simple and re- reliable method of data transfer yeah and uh, actually this can handle a large volume of data efficiently it can efficiently it can large volumes of data and it, it can validate the data before updating the database yeah yeah yes it can provide error logs and report for troubleshooting also yes and these are the advantages only i know and there are many advantages also uh, the main disadvantages of this batch uh, data communication sir like uh, it's actually very time consuming process it's actually very time consuming process and yes. it's a this is an intensive process yes yes and you know uh, actually this uh, batch data uh, batch data communication requires manual in- intervention and monitoring of the sessions yes yes and actually this uh, batch data communication can cause a data inconsistency and lock issues if the sessions are not executed in the correct order yes yeah exactly 